Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys how to create a simple time and sales window. So I essentially recreated a jigsaw DOM and as you can see we have replay running so we're not going to be able to see all the bids and the offers but we are going to see all the um, inside prints, um, the recent at bid or at offer. And so to open a time and sales what you're going to do is you want to click on whatever chart it is and go here to file and open time and sales window and as you can see there are like infinite columns here um, but we're gonna create a simple time and sales and I'm gonna slow down the speed on this replay so it's not so annoying uh, let's go two times speed okay so for a simple time and sales all we really want is time price and volume or just price and volume I actually just like price and volume so that's what I'm gonna do if you like time in there you can leave it in um, but you're first gonna to want to go to here to settings and in the settings window here is all the columns um, so uncheck all the ones you don't want and so I just want the price and the volume if you leave the time so I'm gonna do it with just the time let me scrunch this scrunch this down a bit um, if you do leave the time you can see there's milliseconds here and if you want to remove the milliseconds you're gonna go here to include milliseconds uncheck that and so now you can see that's unchecked um, I like to remove this um, up here this title bar so you click right here um, so it's not like a normal chart where you go to chart and then unclick where it says show title bar the show title bar setting is actually here in the settings um, so you'd click apply that would remove the title bar and how I like to style it so now that we have um, kinda what we wanna see um, how I like to style it is I like to make the background as you can see there's all the bid side trades and the offer side trades have different backgrounds I actually like them to have the same background which resembles whatever background we have here um, and so I'm gonna go here to chart graphic settings and to change the background color for both of these so the bid side and the offer side we're gonna go to bid trades background and I'm gonna set it to be this color which is the same as this background and then also the ask trades background we're gonna change it to be that same color so once we have that done, right, the text is the same, or the text is just black. So I want the bid trades to be red, the text. So let's change it to this red, and then the ask trades, let's change those. Oh, sorry, this is the blow bid. I'm gonna change that back. So just the normal bid trades, we want that to be um, red and then the normal ask trades text we want that to be blue see okay so now that we got that now if we want to see sweeps which will highlight the whole row um, I want I, I want it to be almost flipped so I want the background to be this red or the blue so I'm gonna go here to um, above ask trades so the ask trades right we have blue above ask we want the background to be that blue and then I'm just gonna do for now the text to be white and then we're gonna want to do the same thing with the um, below bid so the below bid background yeah so the below bid background we're gonna be red and then I'm gonna make the text be white and I'm gonna change the speed on the replay to see if we can get more sweeps coming through Let's see what that looks like there we go so now we're starting to get sweeps as you can see when we have those um, columns like that those are the sweeps coming through and I'm gonna change the font size to be the same as here so I think the font size here is 10 so I'm gonna go here to chart graphic settings and the font size we're going to go here time and sales window and then I'm gonna change it from 14 to 10 
So now that we got that, it's looking pretty clean. I'm gonna scrunch these down a little bit and scrunch that down. And then all there is left to do is now you can see a lot of ones are coming through. And so you're gonna to want to go into here and it says combine records. You wanna do combine into exchange reported original summary trade. So instead of it showing one, 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 it'll show three if there's one trade coming through. So now you see a lot more big numbers are coming through instead of all those ones. And that just makes everything way more clear. And then down here you can filter um, by volume. So you can have it show only anything equal to or over than five. And you can do quite a few things there. Um, for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, so just depending on your preferences, you can filter, and this should be pretty um, self-explanatory. We have the volume. Um, if you wanna uh, filter differently on the ask and the bid size, you can do that. And then the price etc. So, and then also up here you can say if volume is equal to or above this number, color the row, highlight and alert, you can add alert sounds, um, but for now, I'm just gonna keep, it, keep it simple. Um, this is essentially all that you need for a time of sales.